Hello, this is Bear from Bear Wave. How's it going? Here's a weekly update on the channel. So today we're going to take a look at Bitcoin. We'll take a look at Solana. Perhaps we'll take a look at Ethereum. And then as Kevin, one of my subscribers, asked, we'll also take a look at the S&P. So let's get started with Bitcoin. So if, if you've or subscriber, if you've been following me for a while, uh, you know that I have been entertaining the possibility that we have one, two, and now we are zooming higher. Now, obviously, if you do have a one, two, that would mean we have a bottom in place here in wave four. That's what we've been assuming for several months. And could this not be a top in place? Yes, we talked about it for the past months in every video. Um, I always briefly said this could be some sort of wave W, X, and Y. So I know that. Um, we're just assuming that we have a bottom in place here. And uh, I did cover the alternate in uh, various previous videos. So, but today we're just going to focus more on the intraday chart. So, here I have two different counts. Um, one of them is the one you're seeing, and I'm just going to zoom in in just a second. And then the other one is basically I'll just show you quickly. Um, let me. It's this one. We have basically a, a wave two in place here, and we're zooming higher. So. One kind of the time, let's see what we can see on the intraday chart. So before we do that, don't forget to join the Discord. It's completely free. You'll find the link in the description of this video. And you'll find, as you can see, many other traders who enjoy the LOA theory and talked about different instruments, stocks, FX, indices, cryptos, and just trading in general. So again, if you enjoy what you see, hope you see you there. It's completely free. And uh, thanks for joining. So here in Bitcoin, again, here with this one too, just briefly, I did say, and I do have it here, I did say that it could also be something like this, one, two, three, four, five, ABC, or this could also be a double XY, to be honest. Um, it could be a complex set. That's not important. What is important is I do see this being either a more of a sideways move or else, um, nope the wrong one this being a contraction diagonal even though it's not the best looking one it does respect every rule of a contracting diagonal so again let's focus on this move up here so one thing first of all we have to I mean zoom in so you guys can see better one thing we have to keep in mind is that we are trading below 50,000 and that is one, many would argue, so psychological level, five is a Fibonacci number, so you would expect, and we we saw it here, strong resistance. So as long as we trade below 50, we can still, in a way, fall back lower. And uh, that's why I do see the possibility, and let's zoom in, of this being corrective in nature. I do see this as a triangle here. Double XY, ABC, and then I was I will look for another three wave move to the downside. Now, I do not mark this as a diagonal, as a leading diagonal, because wave five here. If let's see, let me show you this wave. So you would have one, two, three, four, five in a contracted diagonal. Every wave must be shorter than the one before. Um, therefore, wave five must be shorter than three. And here wave five is longer than three. So we would have um, wave kind of validation. And that's something we, we we don't want. So that's why I didn't label it as a five wave move in a diagonal. So all we can take from here this is that, yes, this is corrective. Um, the question is, is this corrective impulsive? Now, if this is corrective, then I would expect Actually, here, I mean, 48,000 is where I would expect resistance, and that's what I said in the Discord. Uh, 8 being a also Fibonacci number. So we could expect further dump sum from here. If we take a look on the daily at volume, you can see how volume, we, I mean, we moved up with volume, which is usually a bullish shine when you do move higher with volume. Um, however, if we take a look at the intraday chart, you can see how once we started to hit 48,000, 
volume kicked even higher and that indeed could be a sign that sellers are stepping in now it's a weekend we could see some sideways movement um but um i mean this trend looks strong it looks like it might be trying to establishing um and that's why that's why long story short that's why i do have the alternate um switch nope uh, sorry i just get confused every time and um it's I it's this one so this will go in here all right so that's why you have the alternate um, ABC ABC into wave W and here so okay so I haven't labeled it but the way up would be the same count just one degree lower one two three four and five no actually the same degree in a line uh, just that uh, wave two could be finished and i mean in a way it would make sense because if this was wave two of intermediate degree minor degree should be a, a smaller degree and if we are within a third then we would expect extension higher so it, it, it kind of makes sense that we would expect a strong trend um and uh, if we go in the four hour again and we zoom in then one way we could label this okay one way we could label this is i thought about it so either one two three four and five and that would be i think minute because then you would pull back in mile um so this would be me at and then you pull back it would be a higher degree minute wave one so this degree here um but that's i mean wave four much larger than wave two possible um or else what i thought about is that we do have one two three four five this would be some minuet and here you would have a series of one and twos um which again i mean depending on how much higher it, it would extend so i like to have this in red and this in black so depending on how much higher you would extend then you could move this to a uh, minute but i think it's safe to to just label it here so this would be a one two uh, one two one two one two three four five so it, it looks like it, it could play out um how do we know which one it is is it this count or is it the other one well the the, the let's call it set part is that we don't know until we know we can only try to um, forecast and that's what um i mean that's all we're doing we're forecasting so again what we have in favor of this is strong volume to the upside on the daily uh, we we see how we we are moving higher with increasing volume so ideally if we m break this high and we start trading above 50,000, then most likely uh, this could be the count. And uh, let's say we have the previous count where um, we had a, a one, two, three, four, and five. Let's say we top here. If we pull back in three and then we find support on the 45,000, um, then we could uh we could also expect that we would re resume higher so really it, it it depends it's still a bit early to say we are close to um invalidating one or the other uh, i guess it, it depends on what will happen over the weekend as well as on monday uh, if we just crash lower then we most likely will have the other count uh, we could also fail to break this low at that point we could stay around 40,000 between 40 to 38 um, and then pull back higher but uh, at that I mean we really need to see it's kind of pointless to me to say oh it's going to be this one and that one because I don't know I can only forecast and uh, that's what I see I have this two main counts and then with those within those count as you can see I, I have different alternate on how you, you you label this way up so as always happy to, to know guys what you think about it and uh, yeah, happy to see in the comments what you guys think about it. Uh, maybe you 
come up with different ideas that I haven't um, came up with already, which is it's possible. Um, or else, I uh, hope to see you on the Discord and talk about it there. Now, Solana. Another one I want to be focusing on today before we move on to the S&P. Uh, so Solana here. So there's two ways to look at this. One, two. A, B, C. So either a three with move or a five with move. Um, we'll have to see. Could also be some sort of A, then down in A, B, and C for wave B, and then pull back higher. But if we take a look at Bitcoin, if we are bullish on Bitcoin, then we could also uh, be bullish here on Solana. Now, I've been monitoring this on the shorter term, a one, two, three, four. Now, one thing I think it's easy to argue is that this looks like a three wave move. One, uh, I mean, A, B, and C. I hope we all agree that it looks like a three wave move. Now, you could argue this is a three wave move within wave C, so this could be a double XY. Yes, it's possible, highly possible. Uh, but nevertheless, what is mo the most important? Um, aspect is that this is a through with move now what's interesting about this is we are turning about hundred dollars which kind of the same um, argument that I brought out with 50,000 psychological level strong number one is a fib number it's the first number and it's hundred so you know hundred hundred thousand hundred million one million it's one it starts with one very strong number so and it's easy to see that it is a strong number because look at what happened around 100, this major correction. So it is respected. Um, there's a, I mean, this just is telling us that there's a lot of orders um, around here and orders move the market. Um, so what's interesting about this, that we have taken out the previous wave B top, pull back. If this is wave B, we've taken out that top moving higher. So to be completely honest and as always, as everything I do here, this is not financial advice. The setup I'm looking for right now is three wave move upside, taking out this, and then look for a potential entry. As long as we stay above, I need, no, we need to stay above hundred dollars. I need to see hundred acting as support again. Not financial advice, just a setup. Just right. That has to be clear. Um, so that's how it works. I mean, that's how I operate. Um, that's how I see the market. Uh, but I mean, this looks strong. Uh, again, if we take a look on the daily volume, we can see how we have been moving higher with volume. If you look at this two candles here, this correction, it was weak in volume. So I'll kind of tell us that um, sadly it was corrective. And then once we start to to turn higher, we we saw an increase in volume, and we, we I mean, volume supports the, um, in a nutshell, volume supports the uh, bullish scenario. So it's it's gonna be up to see. I mean, what I'm thinking is, as cryptos move to ten, all um, they move to uh, sorry, they tend to move. My bad, they tend to move all together. I'm thinking if we have such a bullish count here on Solana. Then I'm thinking, what could happen to Bitcoin? Um, and I mean, what would fit this count is the alternate count that I showed on Bitcoin, where we have a, a wave two in place already. Um, but again, different cryptos, different assets. But as they tend to move together, it's possible that um, you know, what direction tends to be uh, the same. Now for targets, if if this kind is correct, if we do have a bottom in place, which you never know, if could be three, three, and then we pull back, and then at that point we turn higher, which obviously this could also suggest that we uh, are in the you know wave minor wave two in the making with Bitcoin. So if this bottom is in place, then at least a wave three target could be at least 150. Now I would expect either way 150 dollars as strong support but if this is a one two three four and five then ideally we could look for a wave five target to two hundred dollars but again we'll have to see so far it's looking good looking for again this pullback to then um 
gather more data and see what's going to happen. Again, as always, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's anything um, um, you, you want to add or you have a different count. Now, on the S&P, just briefly um, taking you, zoom in, zooming you out. Um, so I do see the largest correction that happened on the S&P being the 29, um, 70, 74, kind of 72 oil. Um, and then uh, financial crisis of, um, I mean, it's it's a mixture of the uh, dot-com bubble and the 0709 uh, consumer debt crisis. So that's what I see as the largest correction, the largest financial crisis we've had in um, recent human history. Um, so is there any reason to be extremely bullish? Oh, sorry, uh, bearish? Not for now. However, if we are in this way five, then uh, if and this is the way for top, uh, sorry bottom, then uh, what I see is either we are topping, we topped in wave two, or we are topping could still fall back lower, even though I doubt it. Um, so in a wave two, or else there's a possibility we have some sort of wave one, two, three, four, and five. And that's if that's the case, then we know that, um, sorry, as wave uh, three cannot be the shortest, then um, we cannot break um, north. Then, um, then uh, what? Seven thousand seven hundred twenty-eight dollars. Uh, that would be invalidation count. So that's something to keep in mind. What I like about this is that this is sideways. This is sharp. So being there's alternation between two and four. Uh, but again, let's just monitor this, just keeping that in mind for long term. Um, so, daily chart. Um, it's a bit messy, but in a nutshell, a one, two, and then I've had this count for uh, um, ever since I can remember. Um, it's It's been several months, uh, maybe even more than half a year. Um, could probably go check on uh, older videos. So, a one, two. I have one in here, flat in wave two, three, four. There's no validation level. It, we missed it by a couple of dollars, but it's not in validation level. So you have a sideways wave two and a sharp wave four. And then here I see one, two, one, two, three, four, up five, up four, wave three, expecting a pullback upside as we are trading um, around $5,000. It's the same thing as for 50,000 on Bitcoin and $100 uh, on Solana. Same same logic applies. So that's why we expect a wave four soon, up in five, and then eventually fall back down. That's what uh, some major uh, components are suggesting me. Uh, Microsoft, Facebook, um, Google, NVIDIA. Um, I'm a bit more bullish on Apple, to be honest. Um, even though people are bearish, I'm, I'm pretty bullish, but I need the count to be confirmed on Apple. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll reserve that for the stock update on the S&P, the NASDAQ, get some stocks. So as always, let me know here as well what you think about the count. Um, just wanted to be brief. Uh, so hope you, Kevin, if you're watching this, hope you are. Um, you appreciate it. And uh, as always, guys, let me know. Um, happy to to take on a request on the comments or on the discord um, and um, you guys have a great weekend and um, don't trade too much thanks for watching